Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Katie. T Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing, which is really exciting. I have a new pen. I haven't, I opened the like outer box, but I haven't opened the inside yet. I was waiting for it to be light enough to get some good filming. Uh, you know, light, there's a big window back there. So I'm very excited. I was, it was hard hard to wait but I, th I thought it would be fun to do it together um, a little background here before we get started um, I didn't buy this pen I won it in an Instagram giveaway it was one of those ones where like you know you tag a friend and you and your friend both win a pen if if one of you gets chosen and so my friend Karina of Karina loves to plan got chosen and I was her plus one. So I'm very, very excited. I got to choose what color I wanted and what nib from Estherbrook. I'll put a link to this below. Uh, but just like as a heads up, all opinions are my own. Um, but it is worth noting that I didn't buy it with my own money. So uh, and I just put lotion on my hands so that they wouldn't look quite as terrible on camera. And now I can't open this very simple box. There we go. <laughs> Killing it. This is why I'm not a professional. So here's the Esterbrook um, packaging. I was kind of hoping... It's beautiful packaging. It's got like a, like a cloth kind of canvas textured uh, box, which is gorgeous. Although I gotta say my favorite packaging is from Bennu where all of the packaging is just very simple cardboard paper um, and recyclable. So this is a lovely pen box, but uh, I don't really need any more pen boxes. It's magnetic, which is really fun. I will say this would probably rank as one of my higher keeps um, on the pen box. It's got a really fun kind of suede kind of texture here on there. Um, all right, let's open this up. So it says America's Original Reborn. Again, really sweet. I mean, it is an extremely nice box. I will give you that. There it is. Oh, this is fun. Okay, extremely nice box. This is really cute. Little, little card. Scan to activate your pen. I assume that is like a warranty kind of information. I like that there's not a lot of extra uh, gunk. Here's a little cartridge, uh, convert, cartridge. <laughs> I like overthought it in both directions. And here it is, oh my gosh. So I picked the sea glass colorway. Um, let me check and see how well the color is being picked up on screen, pretty good. I did not intentionally paint my nails to match but I have been so excited for this pen all week that it I think was in my subconscious. I got it with the gold trim. One of the things I like about Esterbrook pens from like a design standpoint is that you get like they are available in both like silver and gold trim and you get to choose the one that like speaks to you and I really liked the gold with this like oh there's like a, there's like a, a pop to this. You like start turning it, you start turning it. Come on, I don't know where it is. There, pop. That's fun. There's um, like a, like a inner cap in there. That's very enjoyable, I have to say. Um, I kind of expected this pen to be a lot like my like just resin turned pens, you know. It's kind of got a similar vibe to like some of the hand turned pens, but that's not a feature that you have on the hand turned pens. All right, I know that's a stupid thing to get like 
excited about but it's one of those things that like you can't see from the pictures you don't really I mean even probably in the video you can't entirely tell how fun that is but like it is it's very tactile which I enjoy as you can see by the fact that I keep doing it so here's the nib it's I got an extra fine these are Yovo nibs um, which as you may know is like the the like family of nibs I've decided to invest in um, so I have a whole bunch of different number six Yovo nibs or Yovo compatible nibs and I get them um, I have them in different sizes and I have them some of them custom ground and then I just swap them back and forth um, so I, I really like that in a pen because it means that I can um, just just get it right into my ecosystem. All right, the uh, the fact that I uh, lubed up my hands right before is causing me trouble again. It's not a hard it's not a hard turn. Uh, I just needed a little a little help with my grip because sometimes these choices come back to bite us. So here's the converter. Again, standard international converter. Just pops right in like that. Awesome. I love this color. I It was hard to decide, truly. I thought about getting some of the red ones, but I have this Bennu red pen, which I like absolutely love. I have a video on this, which I'll link. Um, and while I, I love that pen and I really do, I do find that I'm very tempted to only put certain kinds of colors in that pen, which I think will also be true of this pen, although I like that it's got um, some variety to the colors, so I think there's a pretty wide swath of colors that I would be excited to put in here. Um, but I wanted it to be a different kind of color from... Um, from that so I don't really want to do a whole lot of like mm, stats kinds of things because I think there are people better equipped to do it who have more pens that you might know about who um, are just more involved because I don't really have that many pens around here that are like standard size that you feel. So here's a uh, Platinum Profanti and the Bennu Euphoria. And these are all uh, fairly close to the same size. Um, but the section on this pen is super long. Um, this one is quite a bit shorter in comparison, although the threads are um, really smooth. And I tend to be like a death grip at the front of the pen kind of holder so um i don't even know that my fingers will well, they're on there a little bit but they're not uncomfortable at all um but you can see how much shorter that is although actually if you look at where the threads start they're pretty similar it just reads shorter and then here is the platinum all right let's not spend too much time dwelling on this when i thought about making an unboxing video what I was trying to think about was what what can I add? What 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 do I bring to the table that like I don't necessarily see other people doing? Because I love being involved in the community and um, like feeling like I'm participating and that I have something to share. But like I only really want to do that if I feel like I have something to share that's different from, you know, not everybody else, but that like is bringing my own kind of point of view. And so otherwise, like, otherwise it just kind of feels like I'm, I'm bragging about my stuff. Um, and so, you know, I know that people like watching fountain pen content. I like watching fountain pen content. I don't feel like people who I watch are bragging. It's just like a weird thing about filming myself. 
So trying to think of what I can bring to the table and what I think would be fun is that one of the things that is different that that's different for me from some people is I've gotten very into watercolor painting. Let me pull out my stick here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of this content. I don't usually paint on camera, but I do some like update shots and whatever. Um, so, uh, but as a result of that practice, which is pretty new, I've gotten really into mixing colors, mixing custom watercolor colors. I mean, that's how watercolor works. But I've also got a little into mixing um, fountain pen colors, and I think it would be fun to mix a custom color for this sea glass fountain pen and ink it up. So let's page through my my booklet here of swatches. I've, sw I've, I've skipped to like the greens. Um, we don't need to see before they're, they're in color order. Um, and let's see if we can find like a good base. Some of these are, would be great choices like this Pannonia Zuzmo lichen. I don't know how to say that. Um, I've never had to say it before. Or this uh, Pannonia Patina looks really good, but I don't have those anymore. I finished those. Pitted Nickel is one of my very favorite inks. It's from Birmingham Pen Company, um, but we're not going to use that today. Colorverse is a little, December 7th, 1787, is a little desaturated for what I'm feeling. Soft Mint, I think, is a real contender. I really like this ink, and it kind of, I'm trying to, like, channel spring into my life, despite the fact that there's snow on the ground. So, I think that's great. This, honestly, would be, like, the perfect ink. It's got, like, the gold shimmer, but I don't have it anymore. This Robert Oster Torque is a little blue, um, although I'm thinking of adding some golden barrel to whatever I choose, so that will make things a little greener. So that's an option. Urban Emerald of Chavour is a little much, and I think we've gotten kind of out of the region. So I think my best options are the Robert Oster Torque. With a little yellow added to it. All right, I'm looking at the screen and this color, I'll maybe try to color correct it, but I'm not so good at color correcting video. This color does not come out at all right on my screen. It's taking all of the yellow out. So I'm going to post, well, I'm, I think I'm going to actually choose soft mint. Where is that? Which again is all of the yellow is missing on screen. So I'm gonna post a picture right here that's color corrected so you can actually see that and we might have to have problems with the footage later. So I'm gonna go rinse this out just to start with and get some of my supplies and we'll be back and mix custom color. All right, I've got my supplies here. Um, I've got a rag, nice and ink stained off here. I've got some water in case I need it. I've got a syringe. Um, someone had recommended to Karina that a good vial, single vial holder is a tape dispenser, which I'm testing out for the first time and is working pretty well. I have one of these that originally I used that way, but as you can see, it is now full of ink samples. So, working great. Um, so, I think I'm ready. Uh, oh, I'm also going to want some scrap paper to test. Let's see how we can get all of this in frame. Some scrap paper to test and I'm gonna get also my uh, khaki mori nib in case we want to do a little dip testing before we fill the pen. Sometimes I do um, custom mix straight in a converter and that makes it easy to see how much I've made. Um, other times I find it convenient to do it in one of these just like cheap plastic palettes. So if I'm looking at my swatch, which doesn't come out right on camera, which is so frustrating, it's like 
in real life, it's pretty much a perfect match for this dark mint color that's in the pen. And on camera, it comes out totally blue, which is frustrating. But I'm going to I'm going to let it go. Um let's have a quick disclaimer about mixing inks. It is not officially recommended by anybody to mix inks that are not meant to be mixing mixed. So Detrimentus document inks and there's a platinum line and a couple other lines are explicitly mixable. Um, other ones are not necessarily. However, I haven't had any bad effects. I think the chances of bad effects aren't super high. And I think the most likely bad effect is for you to get some precipitate that falls out of solution. Um, so some people recommend that you should do it in a vial, let it sit for like 48 hours, make sure you don't get any precipitate. I generally take the approach of putting it in a pen that's easy to disassemble where the like nib and feed elements aren't so precious. Um, so that works really well with my like Yovo number no. six nibs um, because they're easy to disassemble and get in there and clean if I have to. And if something went horribly awry, I could just replace the whole nib unit. However, I haven't had any problems with that. All right, so I've dispensed a little bit of soft mint. I just did a before swatch here, just so we can see it. Um, on camera, I'm sure it looks wrong, um, but maybe it will look right in post. We'll see. Um, but it's even in real life, it's like just a smidge bluer than how I'm feeling. It matches, but it's a smidge bluer than how I'm feeling, which is why I'm using Golden Barrel as opposed to I have like some of the glitter potions from Wearing Gold that don't have any color, they just have shimmer. But I actually want to add a little bit of yellow to this, um, and I'm just gonna go slowly because you can always add more. Um, but you can't take away. And if, um, so then I like to kind of pipette up and down after I've added it to kind of mix it. Uh, if you don't know, then I'm going to clean my syringe. If you don't know, I am a, uh, chemist in real life, <laughs> which, uh, you can see in some of my approaches and dramatically not see in some other of my approaches. So... Let's see, now that we've mixed it, how much yellower we've gotten and if we have enough glitter. Okay, so we've gotten quite yellow. So I'm glad I went uh, carefully. Um, but I think I'm going to add a little more soft mint just to bring it back. I didn't... My lab notebooking skills in this context are iffy. Let's add a little bit more soft mint. This is why I probably should have started with less like ink overall so that um, I often find that in mixing, I end up doing a fair amount of back and forth. Um, it makes me miss my like real scientific pipettes at work where I can really like easily do small volumes because even these syringes kind of feel a little a little um, imprecise. I think I think that's about the color I want to be, or pretty close. And um, it's a little greener than necessarily I was looking for. I didn't have like a I didn't have a super precise idea in mind. Mint plus golden barrel. I think I want it just a little mintier. So in watercolor, like in some ways the most efficient way here would be to add more like of a real blue instead of like more of this mint color. Um, I, I get where I want it to go faster, but I don't like to mix more inks than I need to like more different kinds um because I feel like that just increases the chances of our problem so if I can stick to just two 
Um, I'm not going to stick to just two. I'm going to add some of that wear and go um, shimmer. But if I can stick to just two, then um, it feels a little safer. All right. I'm, this is going to be my last one, kind of no matter what. I like that. Is it noticeably different from this one? It's hard to say. There's a certain amount of confirmation bias or whatever, like hopefulness bias, whatever that is in here, but I'm gonna go with it. Um, but I want it to be glitterier. So let's find, yeah. So this is um, a wearing goal a glitter potion. I got it from um, someone on our pen swap, but you can buy like the bottles on at, um, and honestly, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this on the converter now because I think we have a good chance of losing a shimmer along the way. So I'm going to pipette this up and down a little just in case there's any shimmer. And then I'm going to pull it up and fill my converter. And I might have made too much to fit in my converter at this point. We'll see. Looks like yes, but let's get it all the way down. Oh man, it's close. Okay, a little too much. We will either paint with that. We'll paint with that. And my water has gotten pretty contaminated at this point. In watercolor, I have um, two different, two different um, bottles, that mug, cups, cups is the word I'm looking for, um, that I have dirty, dirty water in and then less dirty water in. And so you uh, are less likely to muddy your colors that way um, but I only brought one over for this project so let's there's tape on here which is why I'm mixing it when it's um, empty uh, open which is a fundamentally bad idea okay I've pulled up a fair amount of shimmer but I don't want to expel it because that's going to make that, uh, there we go. Uh, all right, we overfilled. I didn't say I was good at this, just that I was willing to do it <laughs> for the record. Okay, got on my hands. Oh, you know what we can do? We can prime the feed and then refill it a little more. So this is an extra fine nib. I, I gave a couple options of what kind of nib I might want, so I didn't know exactly what I was gonna end up with. Um, okay, so that's full. I'm gonna pull this back down grab the rest of this ink. You can see that there's like glitter here at the bottom that like, of course there is. There we go. Close, but I think we're gonna get away with it. It's gonna be a very full fill though, so I hope I like this color. All right. Let's do a little cleaning up. That's not the bottom of that. Let's do a little cleaning up because this is a mess and I really don't want to cause a bigger mess. So let's clean up and I'll be back. All right, I think we have mitigated most chance of disaster here. Uh, I just like live in fear of knocking like a big thing of like colored water over on my desk because my desk is not that neat. I know you can't see all the things that are off off screen here, but uh, they're here. 
Okay, let's try a writing sample and see if the extra fine works with this glitter in here. So this is, an, oh, I didn't, I didn't quite prime it far enough. Let's uh, give it a good shake because you can see all that glitter that's in there. And then let's get it all the way primed. Might take a couple strokes here to like get there. We're close. I have so little patience for this. I know that like I could just keep scribbling with it, but I hate keep scrib scribbling with it. So I always like take it to like over <laughs> and then it like I know that it'll take like a little bit of use before it like looks the way it, it will, but I don't, I don't have the patience. All right, we've got lift off. This is such a fun color. I am sure that someone sells a color like this, but what I really like about mixing my own colors is the, it kind of reduces the pressure to have all of the colors. I mean, I still have way too many colors. I have um, probably something like 60 samples, but that's, you know, hardly any, all of the colors by any stretch. And so like, I like having these kinds of component pieces. Uh, I'm thinking about making a video. Let me know about my like diatomentous mixing set, which I've been playing around with a lot. And that's often what I use when I'm like trying to make a specific color. But I also like to just kind of mess with the colors I already have. Even this, this picture is so bad. This one's not bad. Ah, all right, anyway, so this is the extra fine nib. This is the Estabrook SD in the color Sea Glass. This is a steel extra fine nib. And the color is a custom mix of mostly diamine soft mint plus a very small amount of pelican oh i'm so bad at spelling german words adel stein golden barrel and then some Weringal Brave Glitter Potion. And I actually keep a notebook where I like list my custom mixes. Um, Honestly, if you wanted to remake this, I think you could skip the golden barrel. Like, I don't know that you need the golden barrel. The golden barrel is a golder glitter than the Brave is. Like, the Brave is slightly champagne-y compared to how yellow, but like, it's, it's not, it's not big. Um, and it made a really, really beautiful color. And like just a gorgeous mix for this pen. Let's pop that up. So I don't know is is this is the is the custom mix for a pen something you think is fun? Do you want to see more of that? Um, do you care if it's like? Does it need to be pen related or are you interested in just custom mixes apropos of nothing or in, or what I tend to use them for is because I'm doing them, do I have an example? I do them to match my uh, spreads, Not, but they're not all mixes. Let's see if we can find a, an example of one. 
I'm going to do a flip through through my journal. So here's a custom mix um, to match this like kind of soft, romantic uh, spread here. Oh, I had one. Here, this green is a mix that I made of like this beautiful, like bright spring green. So let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear if you're interested wholesale, if you're just interested as like a fun thing to include in an unboxing, uh, just to kind of spice things up compared to what some other creators are doing. Or um, if none of it interests you at all, you can tell me that, but please say it nicely because I have feelings. Um, I, I, I welcome your feedback, but, you know, please be nice. All right, um, so this is the Estherbrook Estee. I really like it. It's really, um, the sea glass is truly gorgeous. I have no regrets on this being the one I picked. Um, as you can tell, it's a, it's a color family I like a lot, and it's not really one that I had in my collection. Um, the closest thing I have is my primary my pastel primary manipulation and that's really not that close it has some of the same colors but a lot of other colors um, and then I have you know this blue vanishing point but again that's really not that similar so anyhow I guess maybe this one's my closest the emerald profondi again anyway I'm blabbering uh does this post technically yes I wouldn't post it I don't generally post um, but I found it really comfortable to write with. Um, yeah, the extra fine Yovos are really nice. They're probably not ideal glitter um, receptacles. I'll probably have to like be priming it with some regularity. That's just, you know, kind of the truth of glitter. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're interested in an SD, obviously I didn't spend my own money on it, but I would consider it in the future. Um, I think they make really, really beautiful pens and uh, the build quality is quite nice, but you can take my opinion for what it's worth. That doesn't hurt my feelings. All right. Bye friends.